And we now go back to the breaking news out of Baltimore at this hour. Rescue and recovery efforts are underway after the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which is part of Interstate 695, partially collapsed when a large cargo ship struck the bridge overnight. You're seeing the footage there of the stunning collapse. Right now, it's too early to determine how many people were affected. But according to the Associated Press, emergency responders there are searching for at least seven people believed to be in the water. The Baltimore Fire Department called the collapse a developing mass casualty event. The Francis Scott Key Bridge opened in 1977, a major thoroughfare there in Baltimore. This will have implications for traffic in the region for weeks, but the priority, of course, people who may have been on that bridge now in the water. Sunrise in Baltimore, 6.59 a.m., so still nearly an hour and a half away. So rescue efforts currently going on in the dark. We will continue to follow this developing story throughout the morning. And we're hearing from Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. He tweeted moments ago that he spoke with Maryland Governor Wes Moore and the mayor of Baltimore to offer the federal department support. We will bring you updates throughout the show about this tragedy unfolding in Baltimore. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone, you hit search on the bottom right corner, you type in MSNBC, you click on the MSNBC app, you click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it. 